Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much good, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Soldiers formed part of gang hijacking trucks in rivers. Yes, that's in river state. Serving soldiers we are talking about now. They are among the gangs that hijack trucks. Trucks carrying goods and goods and commodities. Yes, goods, commodities. Going to the southeast. Yes, that's their work. That's their work. The work of the soldiers now to hijack trucks. We carry food. We carry commodities. Goods. Anything they can. They will stop the truck. They will hijack, divert the truck, and they will sell the commodities. That is what they are doing. Yes, the leader of the gang, the leader of the gang of this, uh, you know, syndicate, or the leader of the, yes, the gang members, say they were soldiers serving in the Nigerian army. The syndicate, the, the, the leader, and other members, so they are serving soldiers in the Nigerian army. You have seen what we have been talking about. Uh, this uh, terrorists or uh, putting on military uniform. Okay? The deceiving people that they are, you know, military. You've seen it. So they said, according to the those who arrested them, those who arrested them said that the, the suspects were arrested for investigations. When arrests were made over attempted burglary, leading to uncovering of clandestine criminal activities, that's uh, they were arrested because some people mentioned their names. Yes, a confessional statement of those that were arrested earlier, owing to their attempt to, you know, plunder or vandalize warehouses at Elimbo. Elimbo. In River State, belonging to Mr. Emmanuel Wangu and Mrs. Ndifreke Kanem. Oh, yes. And so they said this thing happened after the those people they called, uh, you know, Onega Security Peace and Advisory Committee. Yes. You know, they said they rescued those uh, suspects after severe beating by an angry mob. You have seen it, angry mob. So they were rescued by this uh, Onega security outfit so that's when these uh, people you know intervened so that is what is happening now in river states yes so they rescued them and from their confessional statement you have seen that that they said one isaac west of zero eight nigerian army slash six two one slash two six five three as a corporate nigerian I'm a seven in that state. Yes, said he's among those, uh, you know, the gang that specialize in diverting trucks. Yes, another suspect, they are, said Jabila Kamanga, aka Kaka, is an officer of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, serving in Kaba, in Kaba, Kogi State. Yes, so. That is what is happening. So during the confession, so it was then that Corporal West, a 36 year old father of four, said so he joined the Nigerian Army in 2008 and was attached to three battalion in Warren. Yes. So they said he left in his sick bed in his, his base using a sick pass, but did not return even after it expired, and had been so for a month when he was arrested. Yes. Now said the soldier opened up that he met with Kaka while serving in the anti bunker unit of the army and they did several illegal deals together. Oh yes, illegal deals together. So so they said for the investigation revealed that they were part of a wider ring of suspected criminals who specialized in armed robbery, hijacking and diversion of goods. Now so, now so yes, Namyo. They are all the army officers. See what they are doing? They are jacking. They are fashion of goods. They are specialized in armed robbery. They are criminals. They are criminals. Oh, army in the contraption. Sorry. 
you have seen it. So he said, the man disclosed this uh, West, this soldier, said he disclosed that he and other army personnel had been the key players in the syndicate. In addition to ransacking warehouses, he said they had a network of informants used to intimate, intimate them with the itinerary of goose bearing trailers. Yes, trailer is coming. The information will be given to them. Within the, what's the content? Yes. And so they will wallet the trailers. Yes, they will lay ambush. Army, army. That's what they're doing. So they said as soon as they receive such information, said they will dress up in full military gear, lie in wait for the trailers, and accost them with a white hillers van as they approach their location. They will claim the army officers. Okay? Yes. Say they will then proceed to intimidate the drivers, beat them up, and hand them over their truck keys to deserted drivers who would divert the trailers to waiting receivers. You have seen it now? Now, so they say, based on these confessional statements, that it was gathered that they were able to track down those people who were tracking them. Say they were police. Track down and arrest this uh, arrest. arrest Lance Corporal Abdul Musa, 13 NA 70 slash 10545. Lance Corporal Mbwe, okay, Geoffrey, and Corporal Innocent Okole. All of them are the personnel of the Nigerian Army. You have seen it now. So, this is what is happening. Alright? The Nigerian Army, that is what they are doing. Yes, they said their numerous crimes included the hijack of a trailer load of fertilizer worth in five million. Yes, on February 17, hijack and diversion of a 40 feet container containing imported clothings from China in February, and the hijack and diversion of a trailer load of POP cement also in February. That is what they are doing. So, but their last operation before they were caught was an attempt to boggle warehouses belonging to Emmanuel Wangu and Defreka Kanem. Yes. So, this is what is happening. Okay? Even the police that is saying these things. They arrested these people. We did this. All of them, they are doing it. They are doing it. They are the criminals you are seeing. That's why criminal activity is going on. Unabated. Nobody is stopping it. Who is stopping it? 